Hello and welcome to a new episode of Shy Yeti On Location. This episode doesn't have a theme, so I'm just going to get on and read some poems and do some silly things. It's just easier that way. This poem's called, What's Your Problem? What's your problem? Don't you like me? Do I come across as loud? Don't I fit in? Don't you want me? Out of place amongst your crowd? That's a pity. I've been hoping that my membership might take. But it turns out that I bore you. You can barely keep awake. What's your problem? Am I stupid? Quite pathetic in your view. I'm not trendy. I'm a nothing. Not as cynical as you. I'm faithful, like a hound dog. I hear you laugh behind my back. I tried my best to be a good friend. Seems I was never on your track. What's your problem? Won't you miss me? Once you sent me on my way, you have made it very clear your thoughts, although I never got my say. You accused me of wrongdoings, petty stuff. You made a list, though failed to even mention how you snogged me once when pissed. What's your problem? You're offensive. You've cut me to the core. You bunch of prima donnas, two-faced fools. Hey, this is war. I never liked you that much anyway. You often made me yawn. But you've been slagging off my best friends, so it's handbags now at dawn. What's my problem? Why so cranky, so defensive, tetchy bitch? From now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy, no more cuddlesome and kitsch. I am choosy who I'm seen with, only close mates now will do. You're not welcome here now, honey, so be so kind to leave the queue. You're no problem, you are nothing, no more care to curse your name. Just fade away forever, then perhaps I'll do the same. No hard feelings, I won't miss you. I will, you know, I lie. What's your problem? Don't you want me? How did it come to this? And why? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm um, I'm going to read a uh, a poem now. Really? Yes. What? Yeah. No. I am. <laughs> it, I don't believe it. It's true. It's about a bee. It's about a bee. The letter B. No, not let letter B. A, a B. B C. No, an insect. A bee. A bee is besotted with me. Is a bee an insect? I think so. I'm going to have to look on Wikipedia now. Oh, yeah. um, anyway, I just want to assure you that this bee that was besotted with me, he wasn't really besotted with me, it's just a poem. Phew. I was really scared and jealous. Uh, it happens, bees. Yes, I do have a, a, a stripy, stripy yellow and blackness. It's, mm. Are you making eyes at a bee? No, at the deer. Huh? This poem's called Bee Sotted. There once was a bee quite besotted by me, his tiny bee wings all a-quiver. He buzzed and he buzzed and he buzzed a bit more, then he flew head first into the river. But that poor little bee did not know how to swim, so I scooped him out using a mitten. I did all that I could to regain him to health, but the poor thing was squashed, yet still smitten. So I got really close and I did mouth to mouth, till I feared for that tiny bee's fate. With my bicycle pump did my best to revive, and that tiny wee bee did inflate. There once was a bee quite besotted by me. First he stalked me, oh what bad behaviour. But he got into strife and I saved the poor mite. Now to that bee I'm a blessed lifesaver. He can't thank me enough, all day buzzes about. Yes, he cleans in the lounge in the kitchen. Does my shopping each week and he darns on my socks. Who'd have guessed bees were so good at stitching? But I'm a little concerned when I saved his poor life that I may slightly have overinflated. For he is less of a bee now and more a balloon. Best not fret, eh? It just gets complicated.
Now it's time for a Yeti dance. Hello viewers, um, so yes, so this is my episode without a theme as such. Unfortunately, we are a victim of a strike. I'm afraid all the nice locations have gone on strike, so we're kind of here with we're trying to build a set. Because you know, <clears throat> you know when we go on these all these other adventures and stuff, you see like Hollywood, or you see like France, Paris, whatever. Um, that's, that's actually, we do that in the studio, we just build the set. But uh, unfortunately this time there's not a set built, but uh, we'll do our best to try and find somewhere nice. But because uh, the, the thing is they're, they're building the sets for the uh, Lake District episode that I'm going to do soon. Hopefully, if that actually happens, if the strike finishes. <laughs> This is a poem called I'm a jellyfish I'm a jellyfish So do you want a cup of tea? You may find some seaweed in it But I never charge a fee I really want to wrap around you I don't want to sound too smug But I'm really good at cuddles Yes, if you need a little hug I'm not as ugly as you think I have a fine and noble brow You will notice that it wobbles Oh, so do you want a photo now? I'm a jellyfish, and very quickly I advance with my tentacles around your waist. Well, would you like to have a dance? I'm a jellyfish, so do you want to pick a fight? Do you want to have a wrestle to decide who's wrong, who's right? Promenading on the pier, I will be waiting there for you. I will sneak up right behind and maybe cover you with goo. I don't take no prisoners, just simply jiggle with intent. You want to steer clear of my sting, you want to treat me like a gent. I'm a jellyfish, and I just want to put you in my grasp. I'm going to pull you nice and close. Yeah, I'm really going to make you gasp. I'm a jellyfish, so do you want to have a laugh? I am here amongst the bubbles of your steamy nighttime bath. So do you want to say hello, or are you still a little shy? We could take a trip to heaven, but we do not have to die. I do not mean to cause alarm. Hey, I'm just a little rude. So would you like a game of card snap? Or maybe poker? Nude? I'm a jellyfish. I'm aiming to excite. I am made of raspberry jelly. So come on, baby. Take a bite. No, oh, I didn't know you were here. I was just explaining to the viewers that this is a, an episode without a theme. Which makes a change because we've had animal themes and we've had location themes. and What? Just say what you just said to me. There is a theme. It's not a theme. What theme is there? There's been poems that have been completely different, from different books, written at different times, about different subjects. What is the theme? They all have words. I didn't think about that. Mm. Oh, I suppose there must be thes and ands and... Oh, goodness sake, I really spot it. I, no, no, thank you for telling me. Mm. I just never... So this is going to be the episode... The episode with words in. Yeah. It's not the greatest thing I've ever done, but I... But thank you for putting it out. Mm -hmm.
for Yeti Dance. Now it's time for a Yeti Dance. Yeah! Yeah!